Hey folks, Brad LaDrew here at Western GM in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. And today we're looking at a 2021 Chevrolet Silverado. You can see it, 2500 HD, and you can hear it, Duramax diesel. Let's start by popping the hood. Duramax diesel with the Allison 10 speed transmission. Legendary performance, legendary package. Pretty straightforward, you're just gonna put your hand right here and slide to the right, you can see. And now we have our Duramax diesel in here. So 445 horsepower, 910 foot-pounds of torque. Um, you've got air, air comes in through here. You can see comes down here, swirls around, goes across to there and drops in your air box right over there. Pretty straightforward. You park under a tree or anything like that. Um, you might get leaves and stuff in there. You just turn this thing. And you're in her. And just pull her to the right. Again, if you get snow or whatever else, pretty straightforward. That'll just drip down. Again, you see the strut towers. Pretty easy to get into. Pretty easy to check out. First off, let's look at the front end of this thing. So this model is got a package that didn't exist last year. Last year was the first generation of this redesign. And if you notice, everything is almost all black. And uh, actually, we don't have the chrome recovery hooks. This truck's so fresh, it came in yesterday. I got my guy to wash it real quick for this video, but we don't have the chrome recovery hooks installed yet. But this is called a Z71 Chrome Sport Edition. So you get the chrome recovery hooks, you get the chrome running boards, you get these specific 20 inch wheels with the chrome hubcaps, um, the chrome mirror caps, but the front and rear bumpers and grill are painted to match whatever color the vehicle is. So obviously the sun's gonna help us out a little bit right now, which is you can see this felt liners in here to wheel wells. So again, helps with the pinging and panging on gravel roads. So you have a quieter uh, interior cabin. You can see that exclusive Chrome Sport Edition wheel with that center cap. You can see we've got the factory splash guard. If you're on gravel roads, of course you wanna go with a much heavier duty option, but this is a great option. You can see you can see this texturized coating right here and that goes all the way along the body all the way across you can see still right here so again you know gm knows that you're going to take some rocks and stuff down here so again this rubberized coating is on there to help protect your vehicle as time goes by obviously you've got that mid uh, step to get into the back of the vehicle so again you just kept one foot there your other foot goes there grab something in your box of your truck you can see we've got the def tank filler and uh, in here. In the old generation, it was under the engine cavity, very inconvenient. And of course, the def tank itself is tucked up in under the vehicle, not hanging low. You've also got the rear corner step, bigger and deeper than the old generation again for big steel toe boots. Again, put your hand right there, and now you're in the back of the box. Now, let's just walk around again. We're in Canada. So if you're in Canada, you're gonna plug in your vehicle often in winter time. So at least two or three months a year, you'll need it plugged in. Um, and again, that's your block heater cable connector right there. Pretty straightforward stuff. Everything is LED in the front and rear of the vehicle. Obviously, modern new technology. And real quick here, this is an LTZ. And if you notice on this one, we have the 10-way power passenger seat and with the, with the lens flare, <laughs> uh, we've got the uh, five passenger seating. So the captain chairs, bucket seats in the front. Now that's going to lead me to something here in a second. But first, let me get on the ground. So get my pants dirty here. So important thing to talk about, obviously, when we go to the Z71, you get the Rancho dual tube shock instead of a, in a mono instead of a mono tube. But also all of our trucks have the G80 auto locking rear differential. The keyword there is auto. So it automatically, when that wheel spins, it locks both wheels together and they both spin together for better traction. But this is a really important thing. Some of our competitors claim they have a little more torque than us. And the reality is that ring gear in the back of that vehicle, this vehicle, all 2500s have a 10, 11 and a half inch rig gear. And if you go with a 3500 gas or diesel, they have a 12 inch ring gear. And a 12 inch ring gear means there's zero torque loss, zero conversion. You get 910 foot pounds of torque to the wheels. You have all that horsepower, 445. 
And some of our competitors are running 10 and a half, 11 inch ring gears, which is far smaller, which means you lose torque in the conversion. So you have real power that's better than anybody else in a new GM HD truck, gas or diesel. Whoa, slippery. I almost turfed it, guys. <laughs> Hopefully somebody in the internet's laughing about this. Um, so again, you can see that front uh, the back bumper is ma color matched with the uh, like the front bumper is so again where this would have normally been chrome it's color matched and also you can see you've got those park assist sensors the the beep 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 beep, beep sensors uh this truck also has what's called the technology pack package auto uh, uh, added so that gives you an option to have a camera inside your trailer and also behind your trailer uh, for towing okay now you've got the power down tailgate, which you can do inside the cab or with your fob. You can see we've got the four pin and seven pin connectors here. You can see we've got the fifth well prep package. And when you see that logo, you know that this spray liner is from the factory itself. You can see we've got a power plug in back here as well. So again, charge up your batteries, your Makitas, your DeWalt's, that sort of thing when you're on the job site. Very easy to close up. And you know, piles and piles of room in here. So really quick, obviously you've got the nice perforated leather. You've got some different uh, touch materials. So again, uh, standard versus say the perforated double stitching. And you can see also on the back, some different contrasts as well. Um, you've got the center headrest here in the back as well. You've got a little bit of storage in the back of both sides. Catch hold of the seat anywhere, pull it up. You can see this has the optional um, little storage area and you can also get a cargo organizer back here as well and this is just two Torx screws if you want say you got a big puppy something like that you don't want this in here two Torx screws and this comes right out and it's nice and flat there's no holes or grooves or anything looks really really nice pull down the seat anywhere now I'm a big guy six foot two sixty and I got that front seat actually set perfect for me and you can see here I'll try to zoom back there is piles of room inside this cabin as well. Uh, again, this option, this model, the, this LTZ has the heated rear seats, USB-C, USB, and an old auxiliary adapter as well um, for connectivity. You can see here real quick, overview. Now I'm just gonna step back. I just wanna say something real quick about the LTZ. We're in Canada, so we say LTZ. We say Z71 versus Z71 in the US because it's ZZ top, not ZZ top, right guys? So um, when you look at an LTZ, it's important to know that you there's like a $12,000 spread in price in the LTZ alone. So obviously you're adding the bigger wheels, the painted to match, match bumpers in this model, so that's gonna rise it up a little bit higher. But again, you can get this truck, chrome bumpers, six passenger seating with heated leather. Whereas this one is the five passenger with the captain's chairs, they're heated and cooled. So that's some of the reasons why you can have such a big price difference in this LTZ model alone. So it depends on yourself. I love this, the six passenger capability. Uh, but again, there's many, many people that want that cooled seats. Maybe they're in Texas, that sort of thing here in Canada. Um, it gets pretty hot in Alberta, but it also gets really cold in the wintertime. So it's one of those things, heated things are what's most important to Canadians, but the cooled obviously is a really, really nice touch. Um, looking at the driver's side door here, you can see this is nice soft touch materials. You've got this nice black faux wood with the chrome accenting, which looks really nice. You can see you've got your power memory uh, driver's seat, door locks, mirrors, all that sort of stuff. And speaking of mirrors, this is something I don't say a whole lot about, but these mirrors do a lot of things that more than just being a trailer mirror. So for example, we've got a button inside that you can turn on one or both of these either side so you can illuminate your front job, job site. Really, really awesome. And also you've got these two LEDs right here. And so they project literally right on the ground right about here so that when you're backing up next to uh, say a building, something like that, you can see what's on the ground because sometimes you've got that exhaust coming out, you've got your tail lights lighting up things, but you've got this projecting down to the ground 
that light so it makes it easier to back up that trailer and stay into that tight work spot that the space that you're trying to get at okay you can also get the ltz with bose this one just has what's called the up level audio system and you can see here we've got the 10-way power driver seat on this side as well and i'm just going to quickly get in and drive ahead so i'm not in all this sun here getting all the lens flare that i'm getting but this is quite possibly the number one reason to get into a new Chev or GMC HD truck, okay? And you can see it right here. All of our competitors have this, two high, four high, four low, and we have auto, auto track, four wheel drive. See the auto there? So our competitors and all their half tons have this on the mid-level trims and higher. GM gives it to you every half ton owner, the auto track, auto four wheel drive. So again, it's, it's automatic. It's not driving around in two wheel drive. And then when you get into mud or gravel, um, that sort of stuff, you put it into four high, it's automatic. So that's a huge advantage right there. And another huge advantage is this jog dial. So when I turn this to the left, you see the trailer mode come up, turn it to the right, I've got normal and off road mode. And again, that will change the dampening on the steering, the shift points of the transmission. So again, you have a more road feel so you can feel the conditions that you're in. Or like I said, if you're in the trailer mode here, so that um, let's say I, I've done it before. You go inside, you get gas or fuel and you get back in and you start driving and you notice that you're not in trailer tow haul mode anymore. Well, this truck will remind, re remember up to two hours after you turn it off, or three hours, I should say, up to three hours after you turn it off, um, that it was in trailer mode. It'll remember the trailer that was connected. It'll remember your trailer gain that you had set, all those things. So you don't have to be pushing an old button like you used to, or again, with this one, you don't have to turn that jog dial again. So pretty neat stuff. Again, we've got the heated steering wheel over in Canada. Everybody loves that. And as I mentioned before, come on, focus camera, the heated back and bum in three levels or just your back. And you've got the cooled as well. Push button start, really straightforward here. Let's just talk about a couple things real quick. So you've got your diesel exhaust brake, your front and rear park assist sensors. So the beep, 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 beep sensors, power tailgate down, hazards, traction control, that uh, power plug-in in the back and your hill descent control. Um, important to talk about that real quick, just like if you're shifting, transitioning from park to drive, or from, yeah, from park to drive or into reverse, and you're parked on an incline, say a decline or an incline, that way your trailer doesn't roll ahead or roll backwards. Uh, it'll hold your brakes for, I think it's three seconds, so that you do that transition and get on the gas pedal. Pretty straightforward. You can see you've got your dual zone automatic climate control and see lots of storage in here. Big, big center console armrest that's very comfy. You can see you've got an SD card slot for optional navigation, auxiliary, USB and USB-C here as well. So lots of technology. And then you go into what everybody loves, which is the infotainment system. So again, you've got the split screen display, audio, XM radio, home button here or home button here. It doesn't matter which button you push. Okay, they do the same thing. Scroll across here. You can have your digital climate control if you don't want to use your analog dials down here. Home button again. And then we've got our camera system. Now, if you have this, you can see, that's the big one that a lot of people want. It's called your bed view camera. Okay, so that's the high mount camera at the top back of the cab. That's a really nice option if you're fifth wheeling, that sort of stuff. So you can see, even when you're driving down the road, you can, um, again, your home, hit camera, and hit this, this view here, and it'll be up for eight seconds, okay? Um, and then you've even got a hitch view to make things e e even easier. And then if you had them connected, they would show up in white. That's the back of the trailer camera or inside the trailer camera. So again, pretty straightforward stuff. Um, the LTZ also has optional, I should go back to the cameras, has optional surround vision camera as well. We just don't have it on this trim level. We're keeping the price down a little bit. So hit the home button again. And you've got um, apps you can download and everybody loves this. You've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So again, you plug in your iPhone, your Android phone, and whatever, it, this screen becomes your phone. So you've got that familiarity, your contacts, your waypoints in Google Maps, your uh, audiobooks, things like that, your tunes, all your contacts are all here and it all looks like the phone that you're used to using all the time. 
Uh, moving up top real quick, you can see you've got our garage door opener, so you can program three different doors. You've got the optional sunroof on this model as well. And, I mean, I didn't even get into it, but of course you've got your 4G LTE Wi-Fi in the vehicle. You've got your outside temperature sensor here. Um, pretty straightforward. OnStar is awesome. Um, OnStar is nowadays three things. It's your app that you can control, start your truck, send navigation to your truck, check your tire pressure to your def levels, all that sort of stuff at any time, anywhere in the world. The second thing OnStar is, is that emergency SOS function. And when you push that button, you're on the phone with a trained EMT. So you're getting uh, emergency care if you, have to help, if you have to help somebody or you've been in a car accident um, and your airbags deploy, it'll automatically call the vehicle. And if you don't respond, they'll call 911 and get someone to your, um, to your collision or to your accident as soon as possible. And then the final thing OnStar is, obviously, is that 4G LTE Wi-Fi in the vehicle. And you can pair multiple phones and have them connected simultaneously on this vehicle as well. It's got some really, really awesome technology. And I'm just going to step out. Here's another view of that door without all the lens flare. But again, depending on your model, the LTZ trim level, you can get it with or without the Z71 off-road. So you got the skid plates and under the dual tube Rancho shocks instead of the mono tube shocks, um, which gives you a little bit better payload, stuff like that. Um, and also, the last thing to talk about, the most important thing, GM takes the guesswork when it comes to towing on all of our half ton and HD trucks. They put the sticker right inside this door and it tells you what your tongue weight, your payload, your curb weight, all that stuff is right here. So this is conventional trailering, which is your ball trailering, is 18,500. Max tongue or max, sorry, max gooseneck uh, fifth wheel is 18,500 pounds. Max payload is 3,068 pounds. So it's all right there. Takes all the guesswork out of it so that you know you're safe and you're towing properly. But there you go, folks. It's another one take shoot here from Brad LeDrew at Western GM in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. Like, share, comment, all that sort of stuff. I really appreciate your time today. And uh, the most important thing, I always say that this is get down to your local dealer, take one for a drive, and you'll find out that this truck is quiet and it's comfortable.